welcome back to another JT Gatoring. So jump right into it. This is how to hang an alligator bait or how to bait for an alligator. Somewhat straightforward, but Florida makes it more gamey, more sporty, where you can't just hang it and leave it. It actually has to be um, on a fishing pole or tied to your boat. You have to be in control of it the whole time. You can't just let it hang, tie it to a tree, and then come back another day. So to do that, uh, as I showed you at the very beginning, use the clothespin, a small stick, a long pole, and a bait. So with the clothespin, I have a hole drilled to the handle of it there with a fishing line so that way I can hang it on the pole. The stick that I used was about 14 foot long, a bamboo stick. Went down and cut it and shaved it up and um, it's been working great. If you have a tree to hang it from, then use a tree, but this is for the marshlands where pretty deep water and I needed that long stick so I could hang it where the alligators were coming through. So we have the pole in the ground, which is pretty awkward to do in a floating boat. The pole's in the ground, we have the clothespin hanging, so next we need to hang the bait. So that small stick comes in now, this is just a small bamboo stick, very fine, fits inside the clothespin. What's gonna end up happening is I'm gonna wrap the line around this small uh, stick, put it in there, and the clothespin will hold onto that stick and the line so that way the bait doesn't fall or do anything weird like that. Now you can also use this small stick as a wind up where you can adjust the height of the bait by twisting it. So once you get your height right, you go ahead, hang the bait, and then I go ahead and attach the swivel, that clip-on swivel. Went ahead and attached that onto the bait. Now this bait is a piece of chicken. In Florida, you cannot use a hook, so you gotta use a wooden peg. I thought a piece of cork from a wine bottle, a wine cork, it's less than two inches long. It's wooden, so I figured that would work because I wanted the bait to float because I planned on casting this out to alligators and it needs to float. So if that's all right or not, I do not know, but it's a wooden peg, so I figured that would work. So I have the wooden peg tied to a 200 pound test braided line. Um, it's just a suffix braided line, nothing special. It's about 12 to 18 inches with a loop on the end so that way that swivel with the click on clip on can clip through that loop and attach it to the main line so have the bait hung attach my main line which is my fishing pole the fishing pole itself only has 50 pound braid on it nothing heavy i don't want to pull the alligator with this this is just to let me know where the alligator is at so i can get a main line onto him like a like a harpoon or a hand line onto him now another thing that you can do is instead of using a fishing pole with a reel to attach to your bait there, you can use a rope and tie it to your boat. One thing that I found to work the best is 550 paracord. It's nice and strong, easy to handle, and uh, fairly cheap. Now what I do is I store mine in a protein bin and has a screw on lid and I'm able to keep the 300 yards in there, however much that it is. I know that you can get 250 foot of it for less than $20 and that'd be about the length that I would use to hang the bait with. And in this video that you're watching now, I am putting wine corks on top of it every 20 foot or so, just to help that line float on top of the water because right now it is very grassy and the paracord sinks. So when it sinks, it'll uh, get all tied up in that grass and try to keep as much of it on top as I can. So just as another hint or tip, um, that's what I've learned. And again, if you're interested in any of the stuff that I use, I do have the Amazon store down in the description so you can go look at that and see all the products that I use from the binoculars, fishing poles, reels, hooks, what kind of weights I use and everything of that nature for alligator hunting and other fishing stuff if you're into that. The swivel that's on there is 180 pounds, they call it a number six. Um, all the stuff that I use, you guys can find it in my Amazon store uh, under alligator hunting. So we have our stick in the water, bait is hanging, have it attached to the fishing pole. Now all I did was open up the bale of my fishing pole and push the boat out of there and then use the trolling motor. So it's hanging, it's about a foot off of the water. So one thing very specific that you need to do is keep it out of the water. I learned that by trial and error. So this time I hung it in the water, not in the water, but just touching the water and a turtle was able to come up and grab it and pull the line off and all that. So 
Um, once I got my bait back, you gotta hang it at least a foot up off the water because the turtles won't be able to grab it. The ducks never really went after it. Uh, the vultures never got to it. If you have it tied in a tree, I have had vultures jump on branches to try and drop it. Where I hunt, there's a lot of vultures. So hanging it out over the water, they're not able to stop and swoop down and get it. They uh, stay away from them. They don't focus on it that much. So hang the bait at least a foot off the water, two foot max. If you're hanging it two foot off the water, you're aiming for a big alligator. No smaller gators will be able to reach it. So um, just know who you're targeting. I have hung bait for about four or five occasions and I haven't gotten an alligator yet so probably doing something wrong I've just been using rotten chicken a lot of people that I've talked to use a beef lung and a red type of meat so maybe it, with it being bloodier it may work better so I would like to give that a try next season this season is a little late to get that so I'm just gonna have to come up with a different tactic and just to go over the Florida regulations you have to use a wooden peg that is less than two inches long. You cannot use hooks and it has to be attached to your boat or to a fishing pole in your possession. It's not a commercial take. This is, they're trying to make it more sporty and not as easy to get them or as hands off. Hopefully this helps somebody out. It took me a while to learn about it. Um, so my next tip or trick that I would try would to be use uh, something bloodier. I also want to try some fish, but you're not allowed to use a regulated game. Um, so no bass, no bluegill, nothing like that. It has to be something like a tilapia or something that isn't regulated. So all food for thought. Hopefully you enjoyed it. See you next week on JT Gatoring.